just going to go ahead and uh, throw in a start of our thread here. And what I like to use is uh, this is a uh, pearlized dub, Red Hue. Um, great dubbing. Use it for so many things. But uh, we're going to create a small body profile with this. So I'll dub it down nice and super tight. And what we'll do is we'll just start by coating the thread here. Making sure everything gets stacked up real nice and tight. So now we have this cool little thread base going on. And all I'm simply going to do is I'm going to get some of this ice dub and arrange it in a position that I like. zap it in there nice and tight like so um, and that's going to form the belly of this pattern some of it will pop out that's perfectly fine I'm going to bring in some Senyo's eye stub this happens to be a pink color and that's going to be my, my next layer come into a light olive color and again this is just going to be a pinch and I don't I want it just to be a transitional color here I don't want it to uh, you know completely overpower anything and we'll tack that in and again some of it's going to pop out and for the top of our wing what we'll use is uh, Senyo's laser dub and this happens to be a uh, just a standard olive color here so that's gonna form the top of our fly so I just create a small little profile there she's looking pretty good it's gonna uh, collapse quite a bit in the water What I do is I'll throw in a few whip finishes here. And the reason I'm not too incredibly concerned with the amount of whip finishing that I'm doing is because we are going to ultimately be uh, covering this with uh, a UV resin as well. So this is just my uh, Copic marker. It's in an olive color. It matches really well to everything and you notice I was using that white thread um, so when I come back in with this olive over the top what that's going to do is that you can see it really blends in super well to the uh, to the pattern um, one thing and this is a matter of my own opinion um, is I dig red eyes I think it's the, the best color for a uh, you know, bait and danger style fly that you could use. Um, so these ones happen to be a 1 8 inch eye. So I'll go ahead and pop one of those on either side here. Okay. So I'm starting off today with our, with our flow coating. And what that's going to do is allow me to permeate into the fly's head with the coating and allow my fly to hold a very specific shape that I want it in. Um, it's not going to overpower the material and bog it down, but at the same time, it's going to give me a really good solid coating. So I'll go ahead and hit that with the, the cure light for a few seconds there. So up next we're going to bring in the thin and you'll see this has a different color tip for it because it's a different material. And what I'm going to do with the thin 
is I'm just going to work a little tiny side of the bait fish head here and I'll go ahead and cure it. Now I'm going to hit this for that 10 to 15 seconds. If it's a thicker build, you may want to, you know, allow it for just another minute or two, you know, seconds or two, sorry. But all in all, right now we have a really, really super solid bait fish head. And it's going to have that killer profile. So again, we're going to cure. At this point in time, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to primp this pattern out. Make sure it's looking pretty sharp. You can see we have some pretty good definition going through it. And uh, what I do is I bring back in my Copic marker. This one, this happens to be black. And I'll just drop some barring in here on that little lateral barring. And just a little bit up top there. And uh, so that's going to create just a really great little pattern. It's going to crush down, get that, just that killer profile in the water, and a ton of movement, real realistic looking fly.